If you take resveratrol or consider taking this supplement for health and longevity, are you 100% sure that you take the right dose for your goal? Because the dose can make or break how long you're gonna live and how healthy you're gonna be. Why am I telling you this? Because if you're here, you're part of the longevity community. People like yourself who are intelligent, responsible, will think for themselves. You get longevity. You know that you can achieve all the health and wellness goals by simply targeting longevity. And I'm exactly like you. I want to be the healthiest that I can be, as long as I can. And you and I both know that we need to be active about our health. Being active also means being accurate, especially with our supplement dose. We need to be spot on. Over the last 15 years, I witnessed firsthand how supplement dose can change dramatically how the body responds. My body and my clients' bodies responded differently to different doses. I've seen this again and again. The devil is in the details. And in the last three years, I've been taking one gram of resveratrol day on and day off. This dose is based on what Dr. David Sinclair took himself. I mean, heck, he actually ran the longevity studies, saw it in his eyes, and he's a super smart person. So taking what he takes is the safest bet, no doubt. But then, very recently, something happened, and I decided to revisit Dr. David Sinclair's own study. There, I discovered something I did not expect. In Sinclair's own study, low resveratrol worked better for longevity than high resveratrol. That was a surprise. I thought it's gotta be a mistake. This saucy detail in Sinclair's own study led me to a path of researching over 200 studies on resveratrol and studies on its mechanisms. And I had one simple question in mind. What's the best dose of resveratrol supplement for longevity? That's what I care the most. I don't really care about a dose that helps in certain diseases. I care about longevity for healthy people. And heck, you know, I already spent time money and take resveratrol correctly almost every day. I want to get all the longevity benefits. I don't want 30% and not even 50%. I want the entire 100% of benefits from my resveratrol supplementation. And I suspect that you too in that position. What did I find in this research? And what does it mean to you? We'll start by analyzing Dr. David Sinclair's resveratrol study. Let's start. Welcome to the Wellness Messiah podcast. I'm your host, Rimon. The story goes like this. Two months ago, I published a video clearing away confusion about conflicting studies on resveratrol, studies that Dr. Brad Stanfield showed in his channel. In that video, I included a segment where Dr. David Sinclair explains in his words what, what he found in his resveratrol study. This is what's not known, though it's in the supplemental data of the paper that nobody ever reads. The mice that were given resveratrol every second day on a normal diet, live dramatically longer than any other group. So people out there, you know, my, my critics say, oh, resveratrol didn't extend the lifespan of mice on a normal diet, therefore it's not aging, it's just protecting against a high fat diet. Well, look at the supplemental data, please. If you give it to, to the mice every other day, we had mice living over three years. Apparently this channel has an incredibly intelligent subscribers. One of them asked me the link to Dr. David Sinclair's supplemental data. David said I could not find that data in the supplemental material. A shout out for David Eddington for that. As I searched for the study, I didn't find it easily. And I thought to myself, you know what? The research I showed in the Stanfield uh, Sinclair video, I had done for myself in 2019. And I was curious to look again at Dr. David Sinclair's studies with the supplemental data. And you know what I found? something I never expected. And I never heard David Sinclair mentioning himself. What did I find? Well, let's search for the study and you can see in your own eyes. So this is the original study. Resveratrol improves health and survival of mice on a high calorie diet. I couldn't find the supplemental data here. And I noticed that it says analysis of other groups will be presented at a later date. So I assumed I'm gonna find it in a different study. And indeed in 2008, I found the correct study. This includes the supplemental data that Dr. David Sinclair mentioned in his video I showed you before. Let me tell you why this data, this study, is so unique. And I love this study. Because first of all, it's a lifespan study. It's tracked the mice throughout their entire life until they die. Second, they used a group of mice that were doing intermittent fasting. An intense type of intermittent fasting. They fasted for one day and ate in another. 
If you do intermittent fasting like myself, I feel that this aspect of the study makes the study similar to my lifestyle. Personally, I do intermittent fasting and sometimes every other day fasting. So it's a very unique study. And third, they track the trifecta of longevity, maximal lifespan, mortality, and health span. So let's see what they found in the study. Now this graph shows mice on every other day feeding. If you notice this blue line, it represents low risk virtual. As you can see, they have the lowest mortality and live the longest. And you can see the delta, the difference between this blue line to other lines. On the other hand, the pink line, which is highest virtual, about a four times the dose, has a higher mortality rate than lowest virtual. And indeed, in the supplemental data, they mentioned that as well. I'm quoting, the EODLR, which stands for every other day feeding, lowest virtual, had the longest survival. So I was thinking to myself, that's unusual. Am I taking the wrong dose? Maybe it's just a weird coincidence. Luckily, Sinclair's research included another mice group, this time fat mice that were put in a high calorie diet and they consumed high-risk virtual versus low-risk virtual. So again, you can measure the difference between those two groups. What have they found? Let's see the graph. As you can see, the gray line is HF, which is high fat, low-risk virtual. And you can see the difference, the delta between high-risk virtual to low-risk virtual. High-risk virtual is in red, and the red line is far below the gray line. These obese mice fed even a lower amount of resveratrol. And because they ate every day, the daily resveratrol dose is actually lower. Not to mention they were heavier, which also reduces the amount of resveratrol they received per body weight. The interesting thing is, not only the mortality decreased in both low-dose resveratrol groups, but also the maximum lifespan, as you can see in this graph. Both in every other day feeding low resveratrol, in high calorie low resveratrol, they had the longest living mice. So the first step in our investigation is deciding what is low resveratrol for us, you and I, so we could compare it to how much we should take. Maybe one gram in humans is actually low resveratrol. Let's calculate this. The first issue in Dr. David Sinclair's study is that they did not calculate the exact body weight to resveratrol dose. So they only measure their weight, the food, and the resveratrol amount per food. So what do you do here? The solution here is you need to find the weight of the mice, and then the weight of their food, and how much resveratrol was in their food, and then convert it to our human weight. I won't bore you to death with those calculations, so feel free to pause this video and read for yourself the calculation. The bottom line in this, in the first every other day feeding, according to academic conversion, it's 88 milligrams of resveratrol once every two days for a 160 pound person. If you weigh more, then it's more. If you're thinner than that, then it's less than that. In the obese study, where the lowest resveratrol was even more successful, they only consumed 33 milligrams of resveratrol every day. That's pretty low. Based on those numbers, we can say that the lower resveratrol range is 33 milligrams and 89 milligrams according to academic conversion. There is a tiny caveat here that the academic conversion may not be perfect in this situation. Usually the conversion is more suitable for drug conversion. So if we assume excess discount by the academic conversion and we double this by two, we can say that the range of lower resveratrol is between 33 milligrams per day to 200 milligrams per day. And the 200 milligrams is pretty much a stretch. So here it is. We know the one gram that Dr. David Sinclair takes definitely falls into the high resveratrol group, not the low resveratrol group. But you know, maybe it was an unusual result. Do we have other studies to corroborate what Dr. David Sinclair found in his studies? Not only that, we need longevity study that used low dose resveratrol. So we can verify that low dose resveratrol indeed helps in longevity. So this is Dr. David Sinclair's study. This is not the complete video, and it has been taking me so long to record this. And now I've been going over 200 studies to complete this video. Now in the meantime, until the video is gonna be published, I've got a deluge of emails, and I didn't want to keep you hanging. So this is the first food for thought. It will help you to digest the rest of the story when you see it.
In the complete version, coming soon, I'll take you through my investigation connecting dot after dot after dot. And every dot will give you another astonishing insight, not only about resveratrol, but also about red wine, olive oil, fisetine, conflict of studies in resveratrol, senescent cells, and more and more. And I must thank Dr. Davis DeClaire because if it wasn't for him, we would never have had this amount of data to analyze and think about. We don't have that privilege with other supplements in longevity, you should know that. So thank you, Dr. Sinclair, for that. And it's a great opportunity to say thank you so much and how grateful I am for everyone who contributes to my channel via Patreon. The trust you put in me, and with your help, and the energy boost that you give me, you keep me sharp to produce the best videos on this channel. And because of that, I want to do a special thing for you. And I'll release this video to you via Patreon system before anyone else. And it's without ads. You'll get notification from me directly, but of course, a week later, everyone is gonna see the entire thing for free. Until I got this recorded, stay healthy, stay young, and see you in the next video where we uncover the mind-blowing secrets of resveratrol and its polyphenol family.